CDC director, Dr. Robert Redfield, now the senior medical advisor at AMLLC. Doctor, uh, well, what's extraordinary about Dr. Walensky's admission and statement about all of this is not just that from her perspective, the CC CDC made some mistakes in terms of how and when and what it communicated to the American people. She actually says they mishandled the policy response to the pandemic. Take a listen. Was the agency up to the task of handling this pandemic? I think our public health infrastructure in the country was not up to the task of handling this pandemic. We made some pretty public mistakes and we need to own them. Were you shocked as the rest of the nation was to hear that admission? No, I think, uh, Julian, I think it's an important step that uh, she's taking. Uh, the, the challenge is over the 75 years that CDC has been in existence, it's, it's sort of dwarfed from its original mission, which was um, public health response. And it really sort of moved into look very similar to an academic institution. And the culture really, when I was there, I was very struck by that it was really a, an institution that looked at the time to communicate to the American public information was the time that that information was published in a scientific journal. As opposed to the real purpose of CDC, which I think this is uh, review really highlighted, it, it really is, needs to be a public health response agency, not an academic institution. And it's going to take some time to change that culture, because many of the individuals that are obviously dedicated public health individuals have really learned to operate and be incentivized for their performance based on academic models. We need to get back to creating this agency so it's a public health response agency. I will say one of the limitations uh, when I got there, which was very clear, is the agency really hasn't been supported to the degree that it needs to, particularly from the core capabilities of human workforce, uh, uh, real-time data, data modernization, laboratory resilience, uh, global health footprint. So I'm hopeful that Congress will work with CDC uh, over the years ahead to help this uh, transition uh, so that they get back to their primary mission of being a public health response agency, not an academic institution. Now, now given this admission from Walensky about the mishandling of the COVID pandemic response, how confident should Americans be right now in the CDC's handling of the monkeypox outbreak and the guidelines they're putting forth now? Well, again, I will say, having been given the privilege to lead it for three years, and the men and women there are really are dedicated individuals, the challenge is where they see their role. And, and their role should be in public health response. Um, that is to use available data in real time to launch a public health response not to take the position that one has to wait till they have all the data in, uh, wrapped up in a bow and a manuscript to orchestrate a response. So I do think there's a cultural challenge that CDC continues to have to sort of get ahead of the response and be proactive rather than reactive. I think with monkeypox, there's no doubt that the agency, unfortunately, was reactive, not proactive. And, well, and is hopefully there any chance this sort of a course correction now, or is it too late? I mean, might they get monkeypox, the public response, right yet, or that ship has sailed? Well, I think monkeypox is unfortunately here with us for the duration now. I do think that we can improve our ability to control it, and I think there's efforts now with expanded immunization, some changes that people have looked at. Uh, how to maybe modify the use of the vaccine, as you've heard, using it intradermally, letting the vaccine go a little further, five doses for where we used to only have one dose, getting the high-risk populations immunized. But the reality is monkeypox, uh, you use the right term, that ship has sailed, our ability to really eliminate its uh, intimacy in the United States, it's here now. Um, but I will say uh, it really depends. There's an advantage when I said this is an important step um, Self-recognition is an important first step to course correction. And I do think this self-recognition is genuine. Uh, I do think the reality, it's going to take years to change the course. 
Um, I do think that CDC still is the agency that should have the mantra as our public health response agency. But it is going to need a cultural change. It is going to need substantial reorganization. And it is going to require substantial support from Congress to give it the structural and financial capacity to accomplish that mission. Right. Dr. Redfield, we've got to leave it there. Thanks for taking time for us this afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me, Julian. God bless. Yep. Bye-bye. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.